Well, hi everybody. I'm trying out my new look today. <clears throat> I had a little bit of makeup on earlier. It looked kind of cute. So I'm going to try it anyway. I feel comfortable with it. Hope everybody's doing well. Um, if you're just dropping by and uh, you seem kind of interested in what I have to say, please subscribe or like. Here again, uh, YouTube likes for you to either say you like it or subscribe to somebody's uh, content. I got a haul. I think I have a small haul from, uh, I don't think I showed it to you. I can't remember anymore. From uh, Timu, and then I have two items that I got from QVC that I want to show you. And um, I want to talk to you about it a few things. First of all, I think I finally shook shaped shown <laughs> i don't know anyway i think i'm finally over whatever it is that i had i still cough a little bit but it's not that deep barking cough that seems like it's coming from your gut and i went to the palm <laughs> palm out anyway i went to the lung doctor today <laughs> or bronchial doctor, whatever you want, a pulmonary doctor today. And she said, I was doing good, but let me tell you something, you guys. If you didn't know it, this is what she told me. I asked her, I said, I went to my primary and I went to emergency and I asked for the RSV test and neither one of them gave it to me. She said, first of all, it takes 30 days to get the results back from the RSV and the cost is 300 and something dollars. So I guess nobody's insurance, you know, unless you're in critical condition in the hospital, will actually pay for it. And the other thing is, I don't know if I told you this uh, in my last video, but if you think that you had RSV, because I don't know what that was that I had just now, um, you still need to take the vaccine because even though you may have had it, you can get it again. And I don't know about you, but whatever I had, I do not want it again. I tell you that much. So, and the other thing is, I'm getting a little bit of energy back, but I wanna plant some vegetables and a few flowers. So I'm gonna try to do a little bit tomorrow. And I've gotta clear my room out of things that I don't want them to pack because I know I told you that we had water damage in the house. So they're gonna be here next week to pack up my bedroom and uh, put it in storage until everything is completed. So in the meantime, I'm trying to separate stuff that I really need and uh, put it in my closet. And my closet is really just a mess. So, and I'm really upset because I can't find my Apple Watch. You know, they did move some stuff around in my room already you know, for an emergency. And um, I don't know if I had my Apple Watch just laying around. I don't know. But anyhow, these are some things that I got from Timu. And I got it because they had a special on at a time. So if anybody wants to know the price or whatever, this is really lightweight. And it's a hoodie. And it's like a white quilt, but it's really, really light. It's not heavy or, uh, you know, there's no lining or anything. And it's just great for summer evenings. And I, I still think I'm going on a cruise. I just have to get better. I have three places that I want to go. I want to go to Hemet, California for graduation in June. And I also want to go to Seattle, which is going home uh, in June. And then I want to go to Connecticut in um, Labor Day. So I got three places that I want to go, and none of them are cheap. So we'll see. But anyway, I got this to wear like in the evening. And it's a, a four. It's supposed to be a 22. And I got it from Timu. And I really, really like it. So. 
so I'm happy about that. And somebody sent me something, uh, they were very, very, uh, they were excited about something they got from Shein. And, and I liked it, I, I liked it a lot. I've never ordered anything from Shein. When I looked at the sizes, I didn't really see my size on a lot of things, which is a 22. So I didn't worry about too much about Shein. Now I got this as a, a three pack from Timu. And you'll know why I got it. And they have some lighter colors. And I'm gonna buy a few lighter colors, but it came in a set of three. And there again, I forgot how much it cost. But they're just tank tops. You know how we need tank tops up under things for the spring and uh, summer? There's three of them, and the price was really good. And they're also long, where you can uh, tuck them in, or you know, or if you need them long. But I have all kinds of things I can use them for. That one is black, and I got a red one. I am really happy about that. But they have some that are pastels, like white. Now that I know the quality and everything, next week when I put my order in, I'm gonna order some lighter colored ones. I know I have some white jeans and I have a, a white jean jacket and that would be good for um, Fourth of July, especially in the evening. And I got a blue one. They're kind of full, they're not tapered, you know, but I just wanted them mainly for up here, the upper part. And I wanted them, I just wanted them to go up under things, sweater, jacket, whatever. Um, I even have a seersucker blouse that I, I need a white one to go under. I'm okay with the quality on those. And let's, oh. And you may have seen these because they advertised them. See, and I could wear these with a, these feel like crepe, but of course they're some kind of polyester guys. And they have a little lining in them. And I know my daughter said, Mom, don't hold those clothes up. She said, those things look so big. Well, you know what? Big people want to show their clothes off too. But anyway, here's the pants and they have the buttons up the side that don't open. But these are just too cute and they're really soft. And you could wear these with a jean jacket or a vest. I'm I'm just about ready for uh, for my for summer. I have to do an inventory of what I already have. I'm getting rid of a lot of blouses because I have a lot of blouses that are one uh, X and two two uh, X and some of the two X I can't wear anymore. 3X is too big, or they look kind of sloppy on me. But um, for certain areas, I need it. So that's what I got from Timu. I got the white hoodie, and I got the three um, whatever shells or whatever you call them. And um, I got the little. Uh, nautical looking pants so you know 
sometimes I think about things and, and you wonder about things and people, you know, where they are and what's been going on. Well, I worked with a rancher builder for a real estate broker for many years, and he had a bull, and the bull's name was Rodeo. And Rodeo was pretty mean. The only time you got Rodeo to do anything was uh, if you had a female heifer, you know, then he would do follow you to the ends of the earth. But um, he was beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. He wasn't a Charlet, so he wasn't too crazy about him because he wasn't a Charlet. But anyhow, I called this friend of mine and I said, what happened to Rodeo? And he said, you ate him. I said, what? And he says, don't you remember? He says, uh, our boss came to work. He had a bunch of meat, gave everybody a bunch of meat and stuff. And he said, uh, they had made turned, Rodeo was more like a pet. He says, and you can't have a bull as a pet. It's dangerous. He'll hurt you and he doesn't mean to. So he ended up, do you say slaughtering or he didn't put him down. Anyway, he said, you ate rodeo and you said rodeo tasted really good. That just made me want to cry. And that's been 20 years ago. And I just need a little bit more energy for my plants and stuff that I want to do, but I'm going to do it just a little bit at a time, you know? Uh, things are so nice and the rain, the rain right now help everything take hold and 90 days from now we'll have some vegetables and we'll have some beautiful flowers that we can probably transport and put some in the front yard. Uh, my guy that does the yard, he has a thing about no color. Everything in the front yard is green. Like he'll, he'll have, he plants something that's like a deep purple, but everything else is just green. I mean, it's beautiful, but I'd like something with a little more color. Um, and I don't know if I told you this, but I'm going to say it one more time. I don't care what they call what I had. I, in my lifetime, I've had the flu and this was the flu. I mean, it, it may not have been H-I-N, whatever, whatever. Everything has a, a letter and a number, but, you know, they used to give it names. I said something about, this is a fact. You can look it up. I said, I told the nurse today, and I told my daughter, I said, you can't tell me that I didn't have the flu. I said, because in my lifetime, I've had the flu twice. And one of the times I had one of the worst flus, I think, that we've had on Earth, and that was the Hong Kong flu. Don't ask me why they called it Hong Kong flu, but that was what they called it. It was in the 60s. Look it up. Nation, uh, worldwide, it killed, I think, almost 2 million people. Um, and that's the way I felt. I felt like I had the flu. So I'm going to stick with that. But you guys be careful. Um... Take all your vaccines. Although I had the flu. I had the flu uh, vaccine back in November. So it just wasn't, whatever kind of flu I had wasn't one of the ones that they give you the vaccine for. Well, here comes Jersey and I guess she's gonna knock my, uh, um, well, she turned around. I guess she said, that old lady just really gets on my nerves. <laughs> anyway. I guess the flu that's going around is not one of these H1N4 or whatever they are. It's one that they weren't expecting. Take care of yourself. Try to stay away from big crowds. I was in a crowd of 24 people over the weekend. Starts out with chills, body aches, um, fever, and then it goes downhill from that. And about four days in, you start that cough that sounds almost like whooping cough but okay I got this from QVC it's a jumpsuit little splits at the bottom.
give you a little flare. I have some, uh, some tops that I can wear with this. You know, we don't have to cover up too much in Texas because it'll be hot. But uh, I would wear this around the house without, uh, with, with sleeveless, but I wouldn't wear it out. I have something that I can put on. But I like blue because I can use a lot of colors with it. And this was only 39, I remember this. This was only $39. And I thought it was a great uh, wardrobe uh, stretcher. And it's Bumbo, Bumbo Bella by Jill Martin. And mine was a 2X. And believe it or not, I look good in jumpsuits. I bought two of them. <coughs> Excuse me. I bought this one because I just love this these colors in the summertime. I don't know if it'll go with my hair, so we'll put on some other kind of hair, but this usually looks very, very good on me. It's made just like the other one. And I do have a, a, a white jean jacket that I could wear in the evening, and I have, you know, some sweaters and uh, I'd like some uh, like sheer kind of kimonos or something to wear with this. And it too has a little split at the bottom. But look at all the colors that you could use to pick this up. But I would stick with I would stick with the white or maybe the yellow. See that yellow in there? Isn't that pretty? It was warm today. I mean, it got up like to maybe, to my knowledge, maybe 77 or 78. But I guess I'm because of what I'm getting over. I still felt. A little cool so this with the sleeves and it worked out great for me and my music somebody wants to know is supposed to be YouTube no copyright for a uh, video content now if I have a strike against me I'm gonna be very 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 upset because that it's YouTube music. So I'm going to fold this back up. I need a, uh, I need a thumbnail. I know I showed you this at another haul, but I'm just, I just want to hold it up because my little thumbnail. And I told you I was going to set these on the table. I 
I got several of them. And let's talk about Kate for a few minutes, Princess Kate. Um, oh, I know what I want to talk to you about. In one of my videos, I told you that one of the big uh, styles this year was going to be Western wear. And I said, when you go out and you want to buy Western wear, go to a Western store and buy some pretty decent stuff. Don't go and buy you know, super cheap Western because it'll look super cheap Western. And uh, you'll feel comfortable in it and everything. If you go to a Western store and buy, not boots for three, four, five hundred dollars, but they'll have some boots there for uh, a little under a hundred you might consider buying. And if you're a female, buy the ropers because they're short and you can wear them like in the winter time and so forth, you know, and you can wear them with your jeans. Um, but it's very big. Western wear is very big right now, and they had it on the news that sales are way up on uh, Western wear. So, but try to get something that's authentic. Don't go and get stuff just for the fashion, but it looks stupid. You look like Midnight Cowboy, you know, a manu manufactured Western stuff. And I think that's about all that I have to talk about today. I just wanted to check in with you because um, I am feeling better today. And so I, wa I just wanted to talk to you for a few minutes and tell you how much I appreciate all of y'all. And my numbers are moving on up. We're gonna have that giveaway soon, probably within the next two weeks. I gotta buy some more myrrh because I promised you when I got a, a box and I had ordered some myrrh, I don't know what myrrh is for, but um, I was gonna put myrrh in, in the box. And I'm gonna give two identical boxes away. So um, I gotta figure out how to do this. Maybe uh, somebody can that has their own uh, channel can tell me how, how you go about doing it. I'm not, I don't know how to do it. But we're gonna try it and we're gonna make it happen. And thank y'all so much. I'm almost at 200 subscribers. And that makes me so happy. It's been a long, hard struggle, but it's worth it. You know, everyone is worth it. And uh, thank you for some of the people that have been with me from the beginning. And I appreciate you. Excuse me, uh, Margaret and uh, Deb and Yvonne. You know, thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys have been here from the beginning. And I appreciate you. And if you have any suggestions, just let me know. Uh-oh, I think I lost the remote again. Nope, here it is. If I think of something else, I'm gonna hop on. Oh, and I gotta have my tea party soon. So, uh, Deb and Susan and Dee Dee and Teresa, you guys are gonna all come to the tea party. Oh, and for this, whatever you have, Drink lots of tea, lots of water, lots of juice. Don't worry about your weight. You have time. If you're like me, you, you don't have that much of an appetite while you're going through this. But just drink all the liquids that you can. And um, uh, put a little Jack Daniels in something or a little bourbon. It's okay. It, it, it'll make you feel better and <laughs> it'll make you sleep. So you guys be good. Thank you for dropping by. Love all of you. Bye.